Well, I might I might say something. Or should I just let him watch it? No, I'll let you watch it. Bro. What's up, world? I'm Section. Chill. Fredo, this is the D.O. album review. We're going to start off with the teaser. Yes. So So I've seen this one before. Mm-hmm. I'll try and be quiet. I'm just going to you know see if there's anything that sticks out the second time through. Okay, so the album is called Empathy. Mm-hmm. So this is a little preview. 27 seconds, that's it. No, I don't think you're on the right one. Teaser. No, you want to do the- Oh, hold uh, on, wait, wait. The highlight medley. Oh, snap. This one? Yes, do that one. People oh. think I have all- People think that you are Samuel like Jackson sell- yeah, sometimes, he like he's but just- you're really not. You're Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Breaking me off. People get- uh, all right. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if I can get some captions. Nope. 천천히 그들 따라 걸어가 눈부신 노을 빛이 내려와 따스한 그 뒷모습에 번져가 하고 싶은 얘기가 제법 많은데 Okay, baby deal. Uh-oh. Our screen. Our screen. I can fix it. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta pause. I gotta pause. We gotta fix our TV. Yeah, because you got to get all of it, bro. Yeah. It's worth it. It's worth it. How are you? This going to make me pull out the guitar. This is your young lady. My man Dio looks like he's not a day over 18 years old. I think this one I like last time. Got the wrong. He got the wrong luggage. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. We got a story going on. What happens next? To the Sarangi. Oh, 
Okay. Boy meets girl. Ooh. Ooh. That's the spicy guitar that I like. Drop the key. Oh, baby Dio. Yeah, man. Oh. So there's what so is much the meaning. Yeah, there was so they were breaking me off because I was I just watched it and enjoyed the music, but there was so much like depth to it. And it was just like some kind of storyline. Hmm. Yeah. I mean but I was just in it for the music, bro. I already got my favorite picked out. I okay. Can tell. So there's a music video for the first track, Rose. Yes. Let's see. This is exactly. Let me do this. I'm going to make a new tab. Somebody break it down to me. Yeah, somebody give it to me, man. Because. Because is this still gonna be connected, or is this gonna just be is the entire album the storyline? I, I have no idea. For the sake of the album review, we'll watch Rose again if we've seen it already. Because I don't remember if we watched this or not. Desiree says we have, but I don't remember. Either way, I'll be able to tell in about ten seconds. Let's do it. For those who are watching on YouTube, this is the Dio album review, track one. Let's do it. Monji on the part on Hanner Rito. Paran Tarakan and Kurum Choro. How long have you ever seen this? Molly Kajimarayo. Kidero Mamulo Joma, baby. What kind of frame rate is this? Less than 24 frames a second. Yeah, I like this. It's, it's choppy. So we don't get our, our our thing blocked, our video blocked on YouTube. It's crazy though. You 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 noticing stuff about the frame rates, bro. You asked about a frame rate, and I'm like, okay, LC, do be paying attention to this camera stuff, bro. I'm, I'm next to one of the best filmmakers I've ever known. The only oh, filmmaker man. I ever wanted to work with. Okay, period, dog. You got That's, the sauce. Man. So now I would be a fool to not learn the technical terms yeah. because my brain can put it together, but I can't put the words there. But I yeah. noticed it was like lagging a little bit. Like, yeah. So standard video is the ones you watch on TV is typically twenty four frames a second or mm -hmm. thirty frames a second. You know what it looks like when it's double. It yeah. looks all like real time ish because there's extra frames. This is what it looks like when you take frames away. It's like missing some frames. So if you shoot at just under 24 frames a second, a lot of cameras can go down to 20, mm -hmm. just a little bit underneath. It'll give you like some choppy footage. Right. You might see it in in, in, in a movie if somebody's like drunk and then the, like they're walking down the street and the lights look blurry. Mm -hmm. They do a frame rate like that. Coldplay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coldplay did, a mu uh, I think, one or two music videos like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's Strawberry Swing or one of those, but... Yeah, I like that for some reason. But this song, 
the, the lyrics are just like, take me as I am. He was like, you know, even though I'm corny or whatever, like, just take me as I am. I, I, mm. it, it's like a love song, but it's giving me like Ed Sheeran, like feel good vibes too. Yeah. I nice. like it. Yeah, I like this song too, man. I love, I love the, um, the choice of the guitar, man. I feel like it's a guitar heavy album. Oh, so okay. number one on the album, Rose, Rose. And since I got the story, the storyline and the highlight medley on this album review, mm-hmm. I really am going to be particular in how it flows together. But okay. just to start it off, I think personally that what this is going to do for me is give D.O. more credit, you know, because typically when I hear him, it's alongside Baekhyun and Kai and all the other voices that I love, Chin, and I'm like, all right, they're all good. Yeah. But hearing him solo for a, a whole little mini album, yeah. it's I, I can tell I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this giving him way more respect. Oh yeah, definitely. I could say the same because it's easy to look look at EXO as a whole and be like, they're all good at everything. Like they can sing, they can dance, and everybody's just great. But, you know, when you can take a look at the individual and, like, what he's bringing to that table, Mm -hmm. the table becomes a lot more appreciated. Yeah, it's got me excited. Yeah, as far as the the intro song to the album, I feel like this is, like, the the perfect feel-good song. Mm -hmm. Just a guitar, smooth, jam-along song. Like, I don't know, man. You just play it, like... This I would say this is my mood most of the time. You know, just yeah. kind of just chill, bubbly. Yep. Not too up, not too down, just chill. It's like a, a smooth vibe. Yeah. Soulful. And I've been listening to music different lately. I, I feel like I've been listening with brand new ears. Mm. So, like, I'm going in with no expectation as, as if I've never heard Dio, never heard any EXO, just, like, what the song makes me feel like. And I think if I just stumbled across this on Spotify – it would automatically get me in an upbeat mood like oh who's this new artist and oh mm-hmm. this song feels good oh there's a couple more mm-hmm. so right now i got some good energy going into number two yeah heady whale in the comments says jason mraz vibes that's exactly right man they both like that acoustic feel good happy song um thank you if you are tuning in live on twitch this is the do album review if you haven't already consider hitting the subscribe button if you're watching on youtube we got a lot of cool things coming and this whole entire album review will be posted in patreon for you to watch and play back just in case you missed it Mm -hmm. and you know you want to watch everything at once right on till next time and just like that we are back this is the do album review i'm sorry y'all gotta hear me say that a bunch of times because we're making a bunch of youtube videos so that's the right first song was rose next one is my love i love okay let's do this so from the highlight medley uh, that i did i did it first by myself and then we just watched it again mm-hmm. i think that this is going to be my favorite one yeah oh okay Let's do the lyrics. Let's do the lyrics. I think, uh, I think this is the one for me off the album. 
someone said it in the comments best that it, the number one was Jason Mraz vibes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I hate to compare because everybody's different and everybody's their own individual artist, but I, mm -hmm. it, it did give me those vibes. Um, but I know what he's capable of. Oh yeah, giving us his own signature sound. Mm -hmm. So, um, my love, I don't know what to expect. I'm sure we just heard it um, in the like teaser, the trailer, or like the the medley video. Yeah. Um. So we'll see, man. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Did I skip a song? No. Oh, I did. Cause look on YouTube it says one and then it says three. three. Oh, okay. Well, well no, nah, we gotta go in order. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta go, go back. in order. That's why I left this up. Let me leave this up. I'm gonna love, love you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that wasn't my fault, y'all. Y'all see it right here. Look. Yeah, I YouTube was going off says, that. I mean, Google says one and then three. Yeah, he can read, y'all. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, let's do this. See, that's why the Twitch is so vital. Yeah, it is. We almost messed up the church's money. Yeah, I would have been like, wait, what? When you make a big mistake like that, that's called messing up the church's money. Mm -hmm. Worst thing you can ever do in life. Don't mm -hmm. do that. Let's do it. I'm going to love you. I gotta pause at least once. I'm feeling this one. This is giving me like a Latin vibe, man. A little bit, little, little bit of it sprinkled in there. Uh, I'm Wanstein is on the radar. For I'm just saying. I was just gonna say that too. He's on the radar. I feel like he's on the come up at and and like making a staple in the in the K-pop genre, or you know just commute Korean music, whatever genre you want to put him in, whether it's K-hip hop or. Mm -hmm. But um, so from what I understand, he was on Show Me the Money, correct? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I heard he did really really well, and. I'm starting to see him on features, and, and his name is starting to ring a bell, man. Yeah, for sure. And I think he's got some new music that's out, so be on yeah. the lookout for some reactions on that soon. But, yeah, I like the I like the energy of this song. It's kind of giving me Ed vibes a little bit. Ed Sheeran? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But, I yeah, but like you said, it's been acoustic heavy so far, so it's got me, like, in that yeah. same mood. And I, I, can, I can dig with it. I can rock with it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm loving this one. I'm digging it, man. If I could play this on guitar and we found somebody to sing, would you spit a verse on something like this? Absolutely. If if Dio called you up like, hey, man, I got this track. I need you to lay down a, a quick eight bars for me. Oh, easily, yeah. Eight would be nice. perfect. Nice. Dio, call me. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love you. Soon she didn't got your I'm gonna love Thank you. Is it just lying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna love Thank you for the Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'm a do just some gambuto. I don't go gata. 
오랫동안 난널 사랑할 거란 걸 흐른 계절의 흐름처럼 봄이 지나 여름이 차려진 듯이 한낮의 햇살은 꽤나 뜨겁듯이 내겐 당연해 널 사랑하는 게 Hey. Okay then. Feeling the vibes, man. I'm feeling the vibes. This is very smooth, very soulful, man. This is something. See, I like this style of music. Like, this is something, you know, I can wake up in the morning, do my tea time, clean up, pick my drawers off the floor, the mm-hmm. socks that just been sitting there in the bathroom, kind of get things together. Yep. Take the trash out. Just have this on the, a Bluetooth speaker just playing. Mm-hmm. Y'all couldn't see it. I could see under the desk. He was dancing to this. I was. Man. Yeah, he was snapping his fingers and he was like picking his knees up. Yeah, twisting his toes in the ground. You ever He's seen don't, don't be a menace to yeah. South Central? Mm-hmm. Crazy legs. I'm yeah, doing you crazy was crazy legs, legs. Un- under the table. Survive. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Do, for this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really digging it, man. This is very soulful. It's just a smooth vibe, man. How you feeling so far? Because I know this typically isn't your style of music man Uh, for me it's tolerable Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's just not my go-to but it puts me in a mood to where i can listen to a couple of these in a row but then after that i'm I'm always going to go back to my bag but it's got me chilling you know what i'm saying so i may not be so active and bouncing around like i normally do because it just it gets me in that chill vibe yeah for sure i want to say this the uh k-pop journey has altered my my listening taste um i've expanded because um i pulled up the apple music right here because i noticed that as we were coming on xo blooming day was on and i remember when we did that reaction i'm like it's not really my vibe it's just an okay song and then i heard it again for the second time like hmm this got that housey k american house playlist vibe that i just created mm-hmm. and at the time that we were introduced to it i just I was like eh, it's just okay it's not really my vibe haven't heard it since mm-hmm. and then the k Popathon playlist came on and that played and i'm like now i'm more i'm more susceptible to like something like that so i, I feel like the, my music has like expanded since we started listening well you got me today in the car he had the k Popathon playlist on Mm-hmm. And uh, focus on me came that just focus on me, and I've never heard it in a car. Like he's got like a nice sound system. I got AirPods, and I was like, "Man, this is a whole different experience." Yeah, man. So we, yeah, we, the K Popathon could go on forever because like mm-hmm. there's stuff that we can go back and listen to, and like you said, it's opened me up in so many different genres, bro. Yeah, like stuff sure. that I normally would be like, nah. Mm-hmm. But just hearing them again, sometimes I'm like, I didn't give that song as, as much credit as it deserved. Yeah, same, mm. same, same. We got to go. I'm going to redo some, bro. We we might have to. Yeah, we, we need to redo some. Thank you for tuning in live on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, consider hitting the subscribe button. This is the D.O. Album Review. If you would like to watch the full playback, join us in Patreon. It'll be there available for you to watch and check out. Till next time. Well said. Boom, let's do track three. Track three. I'm telling y'all, Google says one and then three. No, nah, bro. I'm not, I'm not the smartest man in the world. I looked it up on my computer too, bro. I told you my love was next. Mm-hmm. It got me too. Okay. But I think this is going to be my favorite one. Okay. It's either this one. No, I, I think it is this one. Okay. In the highlight medley when he was driving in the car, was this the one that was playing? Somebody in the Twitch. Help me out. My Let's love. What's up, world? It's Action Fredo. It's your boy LC. You heard. We are live right now doing DO Empathy. Super mm-hmm. chill vibes. You know, it's got Very us chill. in here relaxing, but it's got some bounciness to it. Mm-hmm. A lot of acoustic guitars. I expect to hear this similar sound because I'm going to give it a lot of credit. If it just keeps the same vibe, I haven't listened to anything that's been like on the same wavelength the entire time through. 
Yeah. And I think this might be the one for me. Yeah, two tracks in. Um, it's already becoming my favorites. It's, it's already becoming one of my favorite albums. I'm sorry mm-hmm. if that sounds biased, but this is my vibe, man. And I knew and, it was. And when you know, you know. Uh, Jezere in the comments, thank you. See, uh, this is why I enjoy you know watching things live because y'all can correct us when we're wrong. Y'all can fill us in mm-hmm. on stuff we don't know, mm-hmm. and vice versa. We can share this experience together. She said this one is co- co-produced by EAJ from Day Six. Yep. Now, That's if I remember I like correctly, he was the guy with those short songs. Mm-hmm. He we had did, us hot. He was produce. He was doing some like fire songs that were like one minute and nine seconds. We had Cook trying to look up his IP address because we was coming to the crib. Like, where's the rest of the track? Yeah. Too <laughs> fire. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's do this. Day six has the sauce too. Like I yeah, love they do. the band music, man. We need to get some more of that. Yeah, coming soon. Guys. Late night, 시간을 쫓아 서둘러 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 너무 늦지 않게 너에게 달려가 떠디게 흐르던 하루가 속도를 that's the one. No one at least once i know why i like him now why this song shows me that dio don't always gotta flex like he's relaxing on the on the verse and his voice is is beautiful and amazing and it's like in a calm manner it's like and it sounds great Mm -hmm. but when it's alongside all the other exo members what happens when they flip you know and do that four four where four where one person does four bars another person does four bars it's all people we like it it for me personally it was kind of like I was picking my favorites I was picking my common ones but hearing him by himself shows me that he doesn't always have to flex mm-hmm. and then on this hook part it's like well wait I can flex mm-hmm. and I'll hit it up here too like up here high yeah and I just bro I like the blend that he's capable of yeah the falsetto voice is 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 uh one of my it's one of my specialties. Yes, because as a as an uh, a shower singer myself, I mm-hmm. can hit the falsetto very well, but not to this extent. Yeah, <clears throat> so I got work to do. Certified um, shower singer. Yeah, for sure. But this is a beautiful song, man. I say that this makes me realize the beauty and simplicity. Mm-hmm. Like it's just a good like this song would sound good if it was just him at the barbecue and a guitar. You can listen to this song almost the way it is, mm-hmm. and it and it, it'll still sound great. So. I like the added drums, though. Yeah, personally, yeah. Yeah, but, oh yeah, but that, I feel you on that. It adds a little bit of that bounce that just. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, 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 yeah.
不懂。아피보이지않는캄캄한세상도괜찮아너와함께That was D.O. from XO on the ones and twos. This is HF Radio. I am your host, Action Fredo, along with your boy LC, you heard. Uh, This is the quiet storm. Put the children to bed. Uh, You know, it's time to relax. Mm -hmm. It's time to get settled in for the night. That's right. And uh, sip your tea, Mm -hmm. whatever it is you do, watch your Netflix. Mm -hmm. And continue with the quiet storm Mm. here on HF Radio. Bravo, bro. We're Thank gonna, you. We're going to start a radio station, too. Thank you. Thank you. Black Bear, a one, for the uh, follow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we should start a radio station, man, HF Radio. So far, this is my favorite one, but I don't, it's either between this one or there's one more on here from the Highlight Medley, but I think it was this one, man. It's my favorite mm-hmm. so far, bro. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if it was this one or the one before. I'm going to love you. Mm-hmm. So far, I'm feeling all of them, man. I, I can't pick a favorite right now, man. I, I I like the one with Juan Stein. He brought a little hip-hop flair. The selfish part of myself wanted, wanted Sihun to come in and start <laughs> rapping a little bit on the, on the, on the, on the verse. Like, yo, that would be so flame. It would just set it off. But this was a beautiful song, man, just the way it is. Yeah. I don't really have much to say about it because it's just mm-hmm. it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, you hear it and it just showed me that I I think that's what I like about him is like the different ways he gets on the track. Yeah, yeah, you with said different it energies. Like yeah. you didn't have to flex. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear one. Ah, yeah. Yeah. This was Still simplistic, was you know what I'm saying? He wasn't riffing or anything. And they could have added that like mm-hmm. like and it yeah. would have been a dope track too, but like I like it, man. It's clean. I, it's, it's what I would call a clean track. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Very clean, very mm-hmm. clean. Thank you for tuning in live on Twitch. This is the D.O. Album Review. If you are watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what your favorite D.O. song is. And you can watch this full album review back in the Patreon.com slash higher faculty. Yes. Till next time. Peace out. And just like that, we're back. This is the D.O. album review. We are on It's Love, number four. It's Love. It might be this one, bro. I'll be able to <laughs> tell you as soon as I hear the beat, but I I did like that last one a lot. Mm-hmm. I did. That was a beautiful song. All of them have been so far, too, man. Um, I'm excited, man. I want to see XO live, man. Absolutely. I feel like... It's going to be a while before they're all back together. I think it was 2025 that I heard. Mm-hmm. But I will settle for as much XO members as I can. Yeah. So whenever that uh, they decide that they want to come here to America, I don't care what it takes. Yeah, we'll be I'm there. Th- I'm there. We just got to get the connections, the right people. Mm-hmm. We'll get there. Yeah, for sure. So it's love. Sticking with the wave, bro, all the way through. Let's get it. Let's do it. Acoustic again, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got 
크게 울어주는 이더 이상 내겐 없다고 되뇌이더라도 또 설레는 게 마음이야 결국 뭐 Wow, mm. that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think I, what this is doing for me because typically this isn't the the type of music I listen to, so like it's it it's not going to be in my favorites or anything like that. But it's beautiful and I appreciate it. But what it's doing is highlighting why I like his voice, mm. and I think it's because his voice is really clean and clear. Like there's no raspiness to it, like no natural reverb to it, to where it almost sounds like an instrument. Like if he wasn't saying any words, but was just hitting the notes, that's how clean and clear he is. And it's yeah. really just opening me up to why everybody's been telling me like, Dio is fire. And I'm like, I get it, bro. Yeah. So it's doing a lot for me because what it's gonna do is, when I, I'm being selfish right now, but when I hear him on EXO tracks that I like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it. It's gonna click for me. But yeah, yeah typically this is a little bit out of my, out of my wavelength, but it, I'm here for it. Yeah. I feel like um the people who really embrace and 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 claim the R and B genre mm -hmm. have have to have a song like this. Like this has to be in your arsenal as an R and B artist. I feel like this is like one of those classic songs. Like this is a classic R and B song for me. Mm -hmm. I'll just put it in that category. Like if you like Joe to see or some of the old school 90s R&B artists, they've always got that one that's just a timeless track mm -hmm. that you can listen to in the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. I feel like this this is one of those songs that'll be around for a long time for us R&B listeners. Right. Uh, so I'm enjoying it, man. I love the guitar, the subtleness, and I like the the the... He's showing a lot of vocal range in this. Yeah, even the picture of the background, he's he's got his head tilted like he's listening to us like, "Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how, yeah. that's how you feel." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kim said this is why it's my album of the year. Ooh, Amen. Hey. I agree. Cuz it's going to have this like a song like this you can play in 2040 and still enjoy. Mhm. <laughs> That's what I needed, no words. Answered that quick. Okay. Mm. on the guitar right there that is beautiful right there do take the money man if you got a show coming up just take oh, the money 
I'll My be there. Gosh. Just well, just tell me what it is. Just take it. Yeah, man. I would love to see something like that live, man. Yeah, absolutely. I'm 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 yearning for 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 something on this talent level live. He's extremely talented. Yeah. That's beautiful. I don't even I'm speechless. Like I don't have much to else to say. Me neither. What can what else can I say after this? There's nothing that I could say except subscribe and follow and stuff like that. She said the Jezere says the Spanish version to this song is the last one on the album. Okay. Oh wow, nice. The, the Spanish version. But but he literally I literally just said like his voice is like an instrument. If I could hear it with, you know, no words. Mm-hmm. And you press play, and that's exactly what he did. I'm just like, mm, thank you. He just trying to seal it up. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. I'm on to you, Dio. And these are timeless songs. You know why? Because love is infinite. Hate Amen, is temporary. Brother. Amen, brother. Hate is temporary. It's not going to be here that long. That's right. And once we get to an understanding of love, then what? Then we'll be able to to to, to comprehend why it'll never die. That's right. And live in harmony. That's what harmony is. Mm-hmm. It's love. Amen. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I quit. No, nah, man, I was feeling that. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, yeah, so far the flow of the album has, has been good. It's, it's perfect. It's blending and meshing well. And I think it's going to just take us all the way through, all the way home. Mm-hmm. Shout out to our new followers on Twitch. Until next time. Boom. Just like that, we're back. This is the D.O. Album Review. So we are on dad dad speaking of dad you're a dad i'm a dad come here come come here what are you asking him see uh we're still working on this album review tell tell the people what your name is layla layla what Thank you, Jesus. Layla. So when you have one of these, then you become a dad. That's right, bro. What's it like being a dad? It's the greatest experience of the world. You know, you learn about unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's like an opportunity to learn each day Mm -hmm. because they're learning. And, you know, there's no... I don't know. There's no. I don't know how to describe it. There's no. There's no feeling like it. You know. There's no. What I was just saying about love. You know. There's mm-hmm. no. There's no anger. You. There's no resentment. There's only, just good vibes when when you got children around. Even if they break, the the, the your most prized possession. You can't even stay mad because love is just conquering everything. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. That's the best way I would just describe it. I asked a guy that in line at Chipotle one day, <laughs> and he said, I feel like somebody just took my heart out of my chest mm-hmm. and just put it in a person, and I just watched it grow up and walk around. And yeah. I was like, dang. That's what it is. Dang. Man. If you had a little son and he climbed up on that fish tank, pulled it down, and broke it, shattered all the glass, all the fish died, you might be mad for about 15 seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> A little bit longer than that, bro. Yeah. Because he would have been killing my other sons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You killed your brothers, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. My gosh. Dio, give it to us. Okay. So maybe this is a tribute to his father. One day when I was at. No idea. What they trying to sell us, bro? I don't know. A wallet? Let's do this. <laughs> Chanchani, <laughs> <laughs> 
훌쩍 자라나고 하고 싶은 얘기가 제법 많은데 음, that's deep 조금만 더 이렇게 걷고 싶어서 더 멋지게 닮아가고 싶은데 그대에게 난 아직 어린 날 여전히 난 그대에게 삶을 배워 오. 더 많은 추억으로 가득한 그대의 시간들이 눈부시도록 항상 마주 보며 함께 하려 해요 나의 아버지 늘 한없이 단단해 보였기에 뒤돌아서 홀로 견뎌야 했을 그대 조금이나 말것 같은 나이가 되고 어 이제야 그댈 이해한다는 게내 마음을 더 울컥하게 만들어 더 멋지게 닮아가고 싶은데 그대에게 난 아직 거리 여전히 난 그대에게 삶을 배워 더 많은 추억으로 가득할 그때의 시간들이 눈부시도록 항상 마주 보며 함께하려 해요 I gotta pause at least mm. once. We almost went all the way through, man. This is a beautiful song. I'm over here getting emotional, man. I'm over here getting emotional. One thing I will say about, you know, being a, a dad is like now I'm relating to this song on a deep level because, you know, he says, I understand you more as I get older. And it's like when I became a father myself, it was like now I understood that my parents didn't always have the answers, but they did the best there they could. Mm hmm to you know raise me and and keep me morally sound and keep a roof over my head and, and everything like that because when you're a child you just mommy and dad has everything you need they have mm -hmm. all the answers they have all you know literally everything but you know once you become a father yourself you realize that they were just normal people figuring things out mm -hmm. and you respect them so much more for having the answers even when they feel when they might not have had the answers you know they they came up with it for you if that makes sense no that makes perfect sense bro yeah, yeah this makes me think that you know and believe that dads just run the world man you can just yeah. ask people how was your relationship with your dad mm -hmm. and this is spot on with how i feel every single leer like i'm thinking of me and my dad's entire or our entire relationship yeah you know my whole life yeah and it's just it's just perfect mm -hmm. every single lyric is like how i feel and like it's just yeah oh my goodness i could talk all day but dad i love you man nice nice same same i love you too pops man and it's a very vulnerable song man mm -hmm. a lot of uh you don't hear that that often man that that a man makes a song about his father like a lot of artists make songs. i've heard a million songs about mama mm -hmm. and mothers Mm -hmm. and appreci an appreciation for them you know not that we don't appreciate our fathers but it's like sometimes men are like afraid to show that side you know oh, yeah. of, of you know still loving daddy even though I'm a, a, a man myself right so I respect this man yeah man this is this is a perfect song yeah <laughs> 오랫동안 기억에 담아 꼭 닮아 있는 그대와 나 유난히 별이 많은 오늘 밤 자랑스러운 그댄 더 빛나네요 거친 세상보다 아름다운 채로 나의 아버지 나의 아버지 
I ain't gonna lie, that's top five material. Yeah. Easily. Mm-hmm. Arguably like Hall of Fame material. Just and he he sounded beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like I could have listened to that with my eyes closed and I would have felt the same way. But when I just read those lyrics, I was just like, man, everyone's going to receive this different. Like women are going to hear this and think about their dad. But like guys think about their dads differently than girls do. And like he wrote this for his dad, like you said earlier. And it's just like, that's dope, man. That's like a goal of mine now to like truly let my dad know mm-hmm. how I feel about him. And it would be the exact same type of song man do it man do yeah. it sooner than later man tomorrow's not promised that's man. right you know so get it out get it out man yeah man beautiful song thank you for this and thank you for everybody in the comments you know sharing you know their thoughts and you know what they're thinking about which is pops and their relationship with their dad so yeah man beautiful song man i i there's I'm left speeches. There's nothing else more I can say about that. Like, hey, everybody, text or call your dad right now, man. He won't be here forever. Some of them, I see it in the comments. Some people are missing their dads. Yeah, so. man. I'll share another moment, man. We were, um, you know, me and my girlfriend were buying a new bed for you know the the the, the daughter's room, and you know her dad happened to be there. And, you know, we're going through the aisle. He came because we needed his truck to move it back home. And, you know, as we're getting ready to pay for it, he just whipped out some cash and paid for it really quick. And we're like, whoa, 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 you don't have to do that. We were going to buy it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she started getting a little emotional. And then the lady at the counter, she forgot to give me my receipt. So I walked back and she had a tear in her eye. She said, Wow, that was a proud, that was an amazing dad moment. And, you know, you guys should love your father while he's still here because I just lost my father. Mm. And that just made me realize, you know, how important dads are. And, you know, little stuff like that make a huge difference. And I was like, man, Mm -hmm. beautiful. Well, all right, that didn't really have much to do with uh, the music. I mean, I mean, it did have to do with the music, but it's not man like, we're not talking about music we're just on the size the dad subject so. it's our show too at the end of the day if the yeah. music leads us to these conversations and you stuck around and listened and it's for you yeah if you the type that just be man hurry up get to the next one <laughs> i don't want to hear the talking in the beginning they always <laughs> talk and telling us stories we don't know you don't hear stories want to hear more dio hey Say hey, that is some. People. We got some people like that. It's okay. Don't see, cause then I'll get hyped up, bro. And then I'll start. See, I'll start going back at it. Yeah, I've been chilling, y'all. Mm-hmm. But my wife said I could start clowning again. It's like, no, I'm chilling. Th- thank you for. T- <laughs> thank you for tuning in live on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Then hit the what? like button. Then what? Then if you really want to watch the whole thing. All at once, join our Patreon. I'm going to start threatening people again if I have to and be like, we're not, we mm-hmm. are not putting any more videos out until everyone follows the K Popathon playlist on Spotify and Apple Music. And I'll keep recording. I'll listen to all the, all the new albums and I won't post them. Mm-hmm. Just keep mm-hmm. them to myself. Yep, 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 mm-hmm. yep, 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 yep. Don't make me do it. Yeah. I'm just joking. Until next time. Maybe not. And just like that, we are back. This is the D.O. Album Review. We're on track six. I'm fine. Is this the last one on the album? I think so. And then we got the, you know, Spanish version. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hold on. I didn't want to start it. I just wanted to bring it up. Oh, so somebody said just listen to the songs yourself. Okay, we'll talk I about that, that later. I think they was talking about like people who act like that, like you were. Look, I was. No, nah, see, I took it as she was talking to me. No, no, no. I'm just joking with you. Talking to the fans who are, you know, like hurry up. But do I'm fine. Okay, empathy. Empathy is a is a powerful word, man. That's understanding. So I think mm-hmm. he's putting out some relatable songs mm-hmm. and i think that probably inspired the the name of the album yeah 
So, yeah, man, I'm fine. I'm looking forward to it. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm ready for this ad that pops up down here, too. I gotta pause at least once, man. This is oh my god. I was there, bro. I was in a trance. If I ever listen to someone's voice more than the instrumental, you got me, bro. He had me roped. Oh my gosh. I was hypnotized. Yes. That right there just got me. I was hypnotized. Hey man, he's got the song. It was the guitar with the notes with me that that dun, 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 and he was singing with it. I was just like, mm-hmm. <gasps> "All right, I'm hooked. Let's yeah. go." Yeah, this is a playthrough too. That, this yeah, is one that you would not want to pause. Yeah, let's just let's just continue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are you? This is the best one. They panning on us. Yeah. That guitar in the right ear right now. Yo, that right ear. Immediately in the favorites. I'm getting Spotify open right now. Immediately in the favorites. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is one of those songs. If you know somebody that is into, like, the R&B style music, this is one of the songs that you could elect to show them what K-R&B, K-pop, K-whatever if you want to get somebody into this style of music, you can show them this song. You can. This is one of the ones that you can play for. This ain't even my lane, and this is still going in my favorites. Like I will play this again tonight. That's powerful, right there. That it is powerful. Just, ooh, K Mo, Kim, top five easily. Mm-hmm. Easily in my top five. Like I'm playing this on the way home. As soon as I get in the car, I want to hear that on the system. The it's guitar not. in the left ear, and then on the third verse, it was in the right ear, in the background. 
we got to go to Dairy Queen or something. Just so, I ain't got no car <laughs> stereo system, so I'm having in the AirPods. But he got to take me to DQ. Just play this mug again. My right. gosh. Beautiful music, man. Woo. Oh, my gosh. All I want to do is just hear it again. Yeah. The guitars, man. Mm-hmm. They just Ooh. beat us up, both ears. Like, oh. Who was the guitarist on this album? Was it like multiple producers? Like, did he just pick one player, one guitar player? Like, I want to see behind the scenes. Like, I, th- every album needs a documentary along with it, man. That's just what I love to do is watch documentaries because mm-hmm. I like to ask questions mm-hmm. and I like to figure out how things work. So I watch a lot of them, man. Yeah. I would watch a documentary on this album. I mean, I would too, especially yeah. in the studio. Mm-hmm. I want to see the wavelengths. I want to see how many times they doubled his voice on that. Or if it mm-hmm. was just one or two takes, I bet you I'd be blown away and very surprised. Man, amazing, amazing, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, overall, if I had to rate this album right now, out of the six songs, Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me just end this video for YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. If you want to watch the full album review, jump in Patreon. (laughs) Or watch it live on Twitch. He's trying to kingdom, y'all. Yeah, this is kingdom. (laughs) We're going to commercial. (laughs) All right, we're back. (laughs) We need need a button up here to just play that suspenseful violin music. Like, Mm -hmm. we got to get our tracks ready. Just play that. Yeah. We're going to start kingdom, and y'all. Elliot. I am going to finish the K-pop documentary. I am going to finish that. Got to finish what I started. Um, overall, if I had to rate this album, I would give it a 9.97. I was going to say 9.8. Only because it's not longer. I wish it was mm-hmm. longer. That's the only thing that I, I, I wish this album was a little bit longer. At least if I'm being selfish, it needed it needed after after I heard I'm fine, mm-hmm. it needed at least 12 songs yeah. to find another one like that. Mm-hmm. And I, and then, I yeah. And like I said, this is out of my lane. Like I might not ever play this album again, but I'll just take this one song. It's mm-hmm. going straight in the favorites like right yeah. now. Yeah. Like this. This is crazy. So we got the English version of Rose. Okay, we do got two more songs. Okay, oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, and we we've heard the first two. You know what I mean? They're like, just different versions. Yeah, they're just different versions. So I I had to you know call it what it is. Yeah, this is how I would have listened to it in the mm-hmm. car. I probably wouldn't have replayed the other versions. Yeah. Okay. Knock these two out, then we can mm-hmm. knock them out. I'm adding this to my pl- top hits, K Papathon. Mm-hmm. LC's top hits. It inspired him to go in the playlist. I'm no, we're getting all the playlists ready. Oh, what's up, world? It's actually Fredo. It's your boy LC. You heard. We're just going to continue. Let's jump right in. This is Rose, the English version. Yes, beautiful song. Let's hear it in English. Mm-hmm. See what he got. I see you driving your car down to school Your lips are so fine and you're looking so cool I know you notice me too And if I'll be honest with you now Maybe I'm thinking maybe If you need a lover, let me know Treat you better, steer you up. Oh, 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 just every day. I might not have a fancy car, but I fancy you. So give me a chance. If you need a lover, baby, they look at me when I'm looking at you. I don't give a damn, cause it's all I can do. 
Please don't go breaking my heart. Tell me you're aching for me now, baby. Baby. I'm whipping out the guitar tonight. If Please do. I'm whipping let me know. the guitar out. Oh, let me in. I could treat you better. Steer your up. So give me a chance if you need a lover, baby. Any flowers ain't. The American version is ten. This made this song ten times better for me. The English version. Yeah, my bad. The English version. Um, this is something that I would absolutely share for with the people that I love or I know love this type of music. Yeah. Like I could share this with my sister probably, and she'll be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's it." Ooh, yeah. We gotta get your sister on the show again, man, because she sings yeah. herself. Yeah, she does, and she's she's just got the musical ear. She's the one that like expanded me into listening to different types of music. Yeah, man. If we get her up in here, you know, because somebody who can sing, I'm always curious to see if they like other people who can sing, so they can sing it. Yeah. We yeah. do need to get her back in here. Let's do it. Pain. I got so much love to give you, babe. As long as you feel the same way. You know we can do whatever you want. You just need to either let me come inside or leave me standing in the rain. Oh, if you need a lover, let me know. Yeah, that made me. Ooh, ooh. And he was talking that talk. He was keeping it real though. Like, you know, I ain't got the fancy car, but you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But ooh. that's how I had to do too. You know, work with what you got. Beautiful song though. That I like. I like the English version. I really mm-hmm. do, because um, it kept me from having to read. You know, I could just enjoy the music. Sometimes, you know, I get caught up in trying to balance the three because the song is so fire. I ain't reading, and the video going crazy, but. Like I said, that is a song that I could definitely put on like a, a couple playlists, honestly, like a game night playlist, like in the car, different scenarios. It just makes you feel good. Mm-hmm. So is this the, the last one? See, si. Fueras Mia? Which We're going to do which... them back to back. Oh, yeah. Let's just jump right in. Except they're going to commercial us about the, the short shorts. We I can't do white, man. Can't do white, just in case. Get some stains on them. Yeah, just in <laughs> case, bro. Okay, man. You know, as I always say but when I end the stream. I know. You got to make sure you keep them white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, for those who don't know, I come from a Spanish-speaking family. Mm-hmm. Except I was left behind, you know. Yeah. Uh, mi español es muy poquito. Fredo, grande. Fredo, no pequeño. Um, mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Let's get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Cada día amaneces en mis brazos. Te despierto. Besitos de amor, qué bueno lo tenemos tú y yo. Y te canto las canciones que te gustan, cada letra que yo escribo es para ti, pero yo soy. Solamente fueras mía. Ah, ah, ah. 
speaking that sentence. It sounds good. I like this version better. I like this version better. Is it's adding a little spice to it. You know what I'm saying? They say, the they dialect say, is different. They say Spanish is the language of love. Yeah, it's adding some flavor to it. I like it. I like it in Spanish. Yeah, I like this one. Me gusta y tú. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. No sí. quiero despertarme de este sueño. Eres tú la razón de mi existir. I'm going to send this to my dad. Let's go. He plays this part. It's perfect with that Spanish guitar. Beautiful song, man. I I'm willing to give this type of music more of a chance than I normally would. I think I just have to figure out when and how to listen to it. Cause normally I'm always on the go. I'm always getting stuff done. But even when I chill, it's like the polar opposite of that. Like it's super chill music. So I'm just trying to find a place in my life for this. Cause this was absolutely beautiful right here. When you and Mikey making breakfast, throw this on the speaker. We don't be making breakfast, bruh. Start making breakfast. I'm gonna have to, bro. Do it's my routine, man. You need to, you need to teach me, bro. Ah, uh, you don't want yo, hey, my, you don't want me to teach you. <laughs> my routine <laughs> works for like two weeks, and then I got a different routine. See, we gonna cut all that out. We, we need everybody holding each other accountable. But yeah, for sure. This, I can't wait to play this for my Hispanic friends because mm -hmm. I got them. Yeah, Tezzy, you know Tezzy. Is is married? Yeah, man. Give oh him and his wife need this, so they yeah. can, they love to dance too. I saw it firsthand at a I wedding. I can see them slow dancing to this. Yeah, man, you too. I mean, Tell I can me. slow dance to it. Yeah, but, that's what this the but perfect. He, time. But he'll be singing it in her ear and stuff. You know me, I'll just <laughs> it'll be half broken Korean and this combined, it'll be all bad. But I like this version a lot better for some reason. It just gives it. I think it's the Spanish guitar matching it, and it's just giving it just a little bit more flavor. So, mm -hmm. fire way to end the album, man. 
Yeah, and the fact that this guy, I've heard him impress me vocally in three different languages, it just opens up. It man. just, yeah, man, it just makes me realize how talented this this guy is, and the possibilities, man. When you can speak three different dialects, come on, man, you got the ability to give us flavor from a lot of different angles. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Keep him away from your daughters. Yeah, man. Because he could just figure out what language he needs to speak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but no. Man. Thank you. This this uh what did I rate the album? Nine point nine seven? Yeah, I think mine's a nine point eight. It's a nine point nine nine right now. Mm-hmm. I can't give it the 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 ten because it needed at least three well, more songs. Yeah, three or four. Three or four more songs, man. Mm-hmm. Just me being selfish. Yeah, I like how I like how it matched. The blend was a ten out of ten. I mean, the, it was, nothing caught me off guard. It was all similar sound, and that was refreshing to hear. Because sometimes, you know, in K-pop, everyone's so talented they might throw three or four or five different genres in one song, or on the album, you know. But this was like a mood the whole way through. Like when you put number one on this, you don't skip. Like this is a no skip album. So, bravo to Do. Bravo to Dio. Shout out to Dio. Mm-hmm. Shout out to EXO. Let us know what EXO we we need to see. Like concerts, because we heard a lot of their songs. We've done some concerts, too, in the Patreon. Like, I wonder if people go in there and go back to what we did, like, three months ago. Because we'll we did some out. fire concerts, man. Yeah, we did. Go look at the old Patreon stuff. It's still lit. Yeah, it's still lit. It, yeah. it definitely is, man. People are waiting on just new content, but we got some Muslim stuff in there that you might not have seen. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching on YouTube. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you, oh, excuse me. Thank you for tuning in on Twitch mm-hmm. live. We had a good time. That's this right. was the album review. D.O. Empathy. Mm-hmm. Till next time. Till next time.